Today we're gonna to make the 1870 Sour Remix. Hi everyone, Anthony here, General Manager of Bond Steel Winery, and today we're gonna to do something a little bit different and funky. So we're gonna make our version of what's called an 1870 Sours Mix, and we're gonna remix it a little bit. So you may see 1870s, 1880s, or 1910 Sours, and really what that is is old school, either Tennessee whiskey, bourbon, um, or you'll see some rye and a little bit of white lightning as well, um, mixed with some kind of sour or acidic component. So we're gonna go with George Dickel number eight, which is a sour mash Tennessee whiskey. We're gonna put a little bit of lemon juice into it. It's gonna need a little bit of sweetness to help balance this out. So we're gonna use our maple syrup, a little bit of blueberry jam, and then we're gonna use our Zin port at the end for a little bit more sugar and a little bit more fruit and zing. So this is a little bit more of a complicated build to this. Most of these ingredients except the wine are all going to go into a shaker tin without ice. We're gonna shake it for a couple seconds, then add ice and do it a little bit more. We wanna make sure we can break down the syrup and the jam. Then we're gonna use this little eight ounce um, old school mason jar. So for old school drinks like this, we like to put them in old school designs that way. So to get started, we're gonna go right into the Tennessee whiskey here. Um, so this is gonna be two ounces of whiskey. Tennessee whiskey or sour mashes are gonna be the best way to go. You can use rye if you really want to. Um, you can use Jack Daniels too. Really, it's gonna come down to taste and taste preference. So yeah, we're gonna do two ounces. Now, some people can get a little carried away with the lemon juice. We're just gonna do a half ounce on this. We just want a touch of acidity you can do up to an ounce. Again, taste preference is key. And then for the maple syrup, this is gonna be three quarters of an ounce of maple syrup. Turn the jigger over. All right. And last but not least, I'm gonna use some blueberry jam. So with this, it's only gonna be a tablespoon. Um, you can back it down to a teaspoon if you want. You can do less, you can do more. Again, have fun with this one. You can play around with it. That's all we need. So again, the maple syrup and the blueberry jam, they're gonna be thick components, right? So what you wanna do is anytime you make cocktails that way, you wanna shake them without ice first. You wanna break them down a little bit. Try to get the ingredients to incorporate. So we're just gonna shake it for about 10 seconds. Just enough to get it into a mix. Then we're gonna add ice to it. Again, nobody likes warm cocktails. We're gonna shake this for about 15 seconds. just until we start getting condensation here. Now that that's nice and chilled, what we're gonna do is strain it into our mason jar. Now, depending on the bourbon you use, depending on the maple syrup and the viscosity to it, some maple syrups are gonna add a lot more color. So if this turns out to be brown, almost like sand, don't freak out. Again, color, some maple syrups will break down a little bit easier than others. Ours, when you saw me pour it, it's a little bit loose, it's thin, it's not so thick. Uh, that'll be partial to it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna layer this. And we're gonna use three quarters of an ounce of our Zinport. And just be careful when you go ahead and layer on drinks like this. The idea is to go slow and let it trickle down the glass. So you should have a nice layer on top of it. So that is going to be our version of an 1870s sour mix. 
Um, for more tips and tricks like this, just go to our YouTube channel or go to our website at vonsteel.com or stop into the winery here. We're open seven days a week and we can walk you through it. Thank you guys and hope to see you soon.